Hi, this is uh, the Mini One, and if you are one of those lucky customers that get one of these wonderful electro freezer units, it comes in this, and it has a validation kit along with that. We'll talk about the validation kit a little bit later. So when you open the box, inside, it comes with an instruction manual, the little photo hood, you see why it's made that way, and little plastic RLMI flask, your power supply, this is the power supply, and the running tank, and the, actually contains also the illuminator for seeing the DNA when it's running. And you also have the casting stand, the little, cute little bento box, and the two to 20 microliter pipette. So that for those who doesn't have a pipette, uh, it comes with it so you don't have to worry about how you're gonna load the gel. So now that we have cleaned everything else out, we put this aside. So the pipette, there's a pipette. And it also comes with a self-adjusting volume wrench. So this is what we have. The um, power supply is essentially a charger type of power supply. And it is a, um, it's 42 volts and it looks like a phone charger. The nice thing about this is that, is that there is no confusion as to plus or minus. All you have to do is simply plug this into an electrical plug. There's one output in here, you plug this in. Once you plug this in, you can check whether everything is working by just turning on, see whether the blue light turns on. The blue light turns on, that means that everything is working and you're ready to proceed. And let me, while I have the light on, let me just show you that this actually comes with the running tank. The running tank comes with the electrode and a black platform for the visualization of the wells. And uh, this takes about 125 mils worth of buffer, a very compact. And the electrodes are made with carbon graphite. And so it's very durable. Uh, as you can see, it's a uh, fairly hard, sturdy, not like wires. When you touch it, it breaks. And this thing goes into the unit, the control unit there where it supply the power, as well as the blue light for illumination. Uh, there is essentially six LED on each side and they illuminate the gels so that you can actually see it when it's running. There's only one way to put a tank in. As you can see, this tank doesn't go in. So tank only goes in one way. And uh, there is a direction of migration also on the platform so you know that the DNA is going to a positive electrode. It's over here. And casting system, essentially you have a little bento box with trays inside and combs. The combs are essentially that you run six or nine wells. And these gels are the most uh, efficient gels in terms of the length as well as the time it takes to run. So when you make the gels, all you gotta do is just to take the combs. There's only one, only one way to put it in. You put that in and you choose the wells you want. It takes about 10 minutes to set. Once it's set, you take the wells, you take the gels out, and you essentially just, in, uh, with the wells, insert it into the unit. And when you're ready to, after you load the gels, when you're ready to run, you take the photo hood. This is actually a visualization hood. Uh, this plastic is made specifically for you to see the fluorescence from the DNA when it's bound to the gel green. This goes over there, and then you can turn it on. The one a nice safety feature is that this unit actually contains magnets on here because there is a safety switch on the side. So without the magnet on there, you cannot get the gel running. Uh, I will demonstrate it by filling this with some buffer. So you can just fill this up with buffer. So turn the light on. So the light turns on. Uh, when it's tilted, it doesn't. So when you turn, when you take the lid off, you can see the green light turns off. When you put it back on, the green light comes back on. So that, that is a safety feature so that the students uh, will not have the opportunity to put their fingers in there to get a tingling feeling that they may enjoy.